don't know about you guys, but uh, July has been fucking flying for me recently. Like, the 4th of July does not feel like a week ago for me. I don't know why. But with that being said, our game versus the Cardinals in Canton, Ohio is less than a month away. I am extremely fucking excited. All the rookies, Jalen Smith, obviously. But before all of that is going to be taken care of, uh, we got another fucking suspended player. And apparently this dude was... He was going to be a starter. <sighs> Damian Wilson. Holy shit. Apparently, Damian Wilson, I think he shot a chick, maybe his girlfriend, I don't know, and tried to run over somebody. I don't have the full details, but bottom line, bitch got arrested. Doesn't make a difference. This bitch has to go. I'm beyond pissed about David Irving. Randy Gregory doesn't even matter to me anymore. I, I just hate his fucking guts. Uh, Nolan Carroll, uh, as I said before, I don't really give a shit. You could shoot him with a pellet gun. You could run him over with an ice cream truck. Doesn't doesn't matter to me. You could take him. He's people will say that's fucked up. He's the worst player in our secondary. We weren't expecting jack shit from him anyways when we first picked him up, and he's been getting torched time after time after time after time again in training camp. So you know what? Fuck Nolan Carroll. And then you have Damian Wilson. Uh, didn't really think too much of him before he got suspended, honestly. I mean, you guys saw in, in my last video, I filmed that Q&A video on July 4th, and someone asked me uh, what was my starting defense, and I didn't, I didn't even have that bitch on there. I had Anthony Hitchens. But there's been rumors flying all over the fucking place in Dallas about... Uh, this one player, his his last name is Washington. He's a free agent. Daryl Daryl Washington, I think his name is. People are saying that we should pick him up. I'm surprised there are no rumors about us picking up Justin Durant. Is Durant even? A f Hold on, is is Justin Durant even a fucking free agent anymore? Justin Durant, currently a free agent. I'd pick up Durant. So we have that. Get out of the way. Uh, who's who's next, by the way? You know, who, who else wants to get suspended and or arrested? Uh, let's see. Who, hmm. Who's, who's my guess? Who's my best bet? Eh, you know, Demarcus Lawrence. Again. And what, you know what? You know, matter of fact, fuck it. Everybody get out, get arrested, do whatever the hell you want. Jalen Smith is our defense. I don't give a shit. Uh, let's see. It's July, so there's really nothing to talk about. Comeback players. Dallas Cowboy players on uh, from last year that I think are going to have comeback year this year. So right off the bat, first name that comes to mind is Jeff Swain. I see him. If he stays healthy, he, he would come through for us on a couple of blocks and, you know, a couple catches like every here and there uh, before he got injured. But if he stays healthy, I think he can be a fucking beast for us. And if he does, that is huge because this is more this is more than likely going to be J uh uh Jason wins last year. So, if we already have our future tight end already on the roster, that is fucking big and I think he's going to have more chances uh on the field. Uh, he's going to get more opportunities with Gavin Escobar's bitch ass gone. I'm excited. I I really am. I'm excited to see how he does. You know, people are always comparing us to the Patriots. Yeah, things things really are looking that way right now. Beasley as Danny Amendola, or uh, Julian Edelman, I mean. Brian Switzer as Danny Amendola. And if Jeff Swain can be that number 87 for us, game over. We, we just, we beat the NFL, bitch. Another comeback player uh, that can make some noise this year or a lot more than he did last year, is Des Bryant. I think he's going to have a huge fucking year. I think he'll miss like one, two, maybe even three games. But for the most part, I think he's going to be dominating the NFL again. So fingers crossed on that. I genuinely feel that way. I know people are going to say, people have said like Jalen Smith, he's going to have a comeback year. But that doesn't really make any sense if he didn't even play last year. As soon as he gets a tackle, oh, he's already you know, twice as good as he was last year. It doesn't make any sense. But meanwhile, I'll just be here counting the days. But anyways, with all that said, 
What do you guys think about Damian Wilson and all these bitch ass players who've been getting arrested, suspended, yada yada? And who are your comeback players for next year? Also, really quick, I just want to throw in there before I go. Um, Tony Romo, he said that he would come back to Dallas if, like, they needed an emergency quarterback. So, like, if Dak goes down and Kellen Moore shits the bed again for us, what if that happens on, like, Thanksgiving while he's commentating our game? Is he gonna fucking rip his suit off and just run downstairs? <laughs> I, I'm, <laughs> I'm genuinely curious on what his reaction would be. But anyways, um, I guess you could add him as a comeback player. I don't fucking know, but I'll see you guys next week. What am I doing? Peace.